Okay, so my genetic disorder is myoclonic epilepsy with ragged red fibers, also known as Merck. So essentially, MRF is a mutation to the MTK, MTTK gene, um, and this occurs in more than 80% of the cases. The other 80% um, mutations can occur in these genes right here, and um, that includes the MTTL1, the MTTH, and the MTTS1 <clears throat> genes. Um, these mutations cause similar symptoms but are not associated with the MRF disorder. Um, this gene is contained within the mitochondrial DNA, um, and then basically what it does is it impairs all of the mitochondria's basic functions, which affect a lot of aspects of our lives. Um, so the onset can be anywhere from the childhood to adolescence. A lot of the case studies that I looked up, the people that were affected were from anywhere to 13 to 30 years old. Um, and it causes myoclonus, which is muscle twitches, myopathy, which is muscle weakness, and progressive spasticity, um, which is muscle stiffness. In my case study, it was a 25-year-old male. Um, he came in and had upper left limb spasms. Um, each spasm would last a few seconds, and this happened about 10 times a day. They performed an MRI scan, and they found that to be normal. And the neurological examination showed that all mental functioning was normal, but he had decreased deep tendon reflexes, and there was decreased sensation to touch and pain. Um, also, he had a broad gait, which is a typical symptom of MRF, and um, was unable to walk in a straight line. So ultimately, they did a biopsy um, of his bicep, and that showed the ragged red fibers that are signature to MRF. Um, so to treat this, they gave him valproate sodium, coenzyme Q10. Um, coenzyme Q10 is used in a lot of situations um, because its function is to help improve mitochondrial fun or help improve mitochondrial function. So basically he was taking these medications for two years and the symptoms had lessened So, more on this. The, mu the most common mutation is in this mutation, and that is in the mitochondrial DNA gene, MTTK, like I said before. So, in this picture <clears throat> down here, you can see this gene, and right here, it's kind of small, but you can see that MRF8344, which is right here. So this gene um, encodes for mitochondrial transfer of the transfer RNA lysine. Um, oh, also, MRF is inherited in maternal inheritance. So even if um, both a father and mother have, if both the father and mother have the gene, only the mother would pass it down. Um, that's because the egg cell passes down the mitochondria not the sperm cell, so only the egg gamete would supply this mitochondrial mutation. Um, other symptoms of this, besides the major ones, include seizures, um, incoordination, loss of sensation, dementia, hearing loss, and broad gait. Um, to diagnose this, the, they, will, they will assess all the symptoms or do a muscle biopsy, and that way they can assess for the ragged red fibers that you can see in this picture all around um, this muscle cell. Um, and then also there can be, they can take an MRI for cranial abnormalities, which are sometimes associated with it. Um, treatment. Most treatment is only for alleviating symptoms. Um, there's no, no treatment right now that actually stops the progression of the disease, unfortunately. Um, these three things are the most popular um, treatments for symptoms. Coenzyme Q10, B vitamins, and L-carnitine. Carnitine. Um, and basically what these 
<clears throat> do is improve the respiratory chain function. Um, and there can be additional therapy and medication for the side effects or other issues that can be caused by this disorder, such as cardiac disease, diabetes, deafness, and epilepsy. Um, so like I said before, this um, gene mutation is passed down maternally, so only from the mother, and you can see in this little graphic right here, the mitochondria DNA only come from the mother, so only come from the egg, the female gamete, and so that's why it would not be passed down from the father. And here's my phylogenetic tree. Um, most of what I got was obviously monkeys. It was hard to find um, a different type of species to go in my tree, so we have a bunch of different types of monkeys here that go along with the tree. 